evening. Good morning. Mm. Yeah. Good morning, Leo. Good morning, Leo. Yes. Um, last time we talk about the we are going to talk about the Balkan legend, uh, Emil Kostulka, and mm. his movie, his movie and his music. He actually has also. I think he also has a has a band, yeah. He's yes, a, yes. I I'm not sure is I'm sh- not sure when did he started, but yes, yes. Yeah. He, he he had a band called uh, oh, I forgot the name. Yes, yes. He had a band, and he play he play the guitar. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, is ah no smoking. Mm-hmm. His man is for no smoking. Yes. I don't believe. <laughs> <laughs> no I don't, smoke. I don't believe there's a band they don't smoke. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah They're sure it. to snow. No uh, smoking orchestra. Yes, this is the full name of the yes. band. And is in Belgrade, nineteen ninety three. Nineteen ninety three. Yeah. Not 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 for long. Not yeah, really. we just mentioned the history. It's not so long. I mean, yeah. after Yugoslavia. Because the Bosnia War. Um, yeah, before come. Before going to the Balkans, it's like I didn't know too much about the, the history there. But then no, I, I, no. I learned, yeah. yeah, it's rough. It's really wild. Yeah, very really wild. Yeah. yeah, I can, uh, I can understand, but of course I cannot, uh experience it like you. Yeah, it's a fascinating culture too. I mean there's a lot of dramas and yeah. Because when I first watched his movie, um I thought, yeah, this is probably pure uh fictional. <laughs> <laughs> really? You like, think so? Uh, I thought you think so? You yeah, think of, of course not... of course you can uh, connect to some reality as well. But the way he Direct, you know. I feel like that okay. Expression. It's like yeah, expression. You feel like uh, maybe yeah. Is yeah. How can people enjoy war like that? I mean, you know, like mm. they don't only suffer; they also enjoy. Like this is incredible, you know. Like there's a there's a shouting. Shaolin, and then they are having a barbecue inside. Like, you no, know, this kind of thing. Uh, mm-hmm. Having fun, like having music, having party. But, when but, there's but not, not everyone. Not everyone. Uh, if I, uh, if I can recall in the in the movie Underground. I I don't know if you mentioned this one. Also mentioned this one. Yes. And this in this movie, uh, I don't, I don't feel. All of them enjoy the war, so so I think it's it's understandable. Like even in in other society, there will be some people who love fighting, and uh, and also the other kind of people, and. Yeah, probably you will feel, um, you you have a stronger impression on them, uh, but yeah, I think this kind of people they're all around the world. Yeah, um, maybe just more obvious in the Balkans. Yes, yes, because they're they're. I feel that they're they're really 
energetic. If if you would like to use the word, yeah, energetic. Um, only uh, the only question is. Where do they put their energy on? Some, some just like yeah, they they love to fight. They love, they love wars. And Think about them. A friend of mine, he said, it is normal uh, to have a drama in life. Um, that, but the the thing. Like I understand something happened. Something can can happen um, without any plan, but just the just the idea they enjoy dramas, and some people create drama for no reason. That I found is difficult uh, for me to adapt. Um, and plus the pigeon, the pigeon are difficult. I was. Talking about the pigeon, they are like they fly direct to you, like <laughs> like I, I was thinking, yeah, is maybe because of the war, yeah, the trauma. They were they were traumatized before, maybe. So they fly differently from from other places. Yeah, I have never seen pigeon here like that in yeah. Taiwan. Yeah, you see pigeon, right? They just no. fly the the, the other no, way, I, yeah. The same. I never, I never seen pigeons like that. Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, um, you can imagine, and the energy. Yeah, the energy doesn't really go away. Whatever happened in the place, and they stay, um, and affect all those creatures. Yeah. So, so now when I watch the movie. Of Kostulika,、uh, I can understand much better than before. Yeah.、Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was.、Uh, I'm. A, I think I'm a little bit different from you. I was really fascinated when I first watched his movie.、Uh, I remember. Yeah. Underground. That、uh, that was my first Kusturica, and、um, I, I, I don't, I, I didn't sense at all that it's uh it was a three hours long movie, when I when I watch it, I I just, I just, sink into it and and, until the end.、Mm. Only when it finish. Only when it ends, I, I that I realize it's a long movie.、Mm -hmm. I, I was really fascinated by it. Of course, it's a sad story, but it's also no, not a good story. I, I, I can't. We can't say it's a, it's a good story, but it's a、uh, the way he. Oh, this story was traffic. It's very complicated. The they have a tendency to make things very complicated, but、right. because of that,、uh, maybe they have the idea to deal with that. I mean, if the if you are talking about the storytelling、uh, of、yes. the story, it's very complicated. Yeah. Yeah. Just just imagine, just imagine you are the director. And you're trying to figure out the camera moving, figure out the whether、oh. there's a there's a people running, there's an elephant, you know, there's a yeah. <laughs> there's yeah. a zoo. Like if that that's how, what you mean by complicated. Real, yeah, it is. It is hard. Like yeah, as a director, even if you watch some Hollywood movie, you don't see that. Like it can be a really big scale, but everything is in order. Yes. You no, know,、yeah. they follow a certain kind of、uh, regulation,、yeah. but in、yeah. his movie, under I, control. <laughs> yeah, in his movie, it's like every, it's chaos, but it's、yeah. down under control, and yeah, yeah, I guess only people from their culture can do it. 
Maybe, but but uh, since I was not, I'm not a. I I I don't have that kind of background like you. So before you mentioned about it, I never thought about that it could be so complicated. I I only feel that it's yeah it's. Uh, it is just amazing, yeah.、Mm. The world that he create was amazing. Yeah, and and just the matter, he is a Bosnian born a Serbian. This is already complicated, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, yeah, the, yeah. and.、Uh, Yeah. So when I when I mentioned his name to people there, to Serbian people, some don't recognize he's a Serbian. Like you know, it's complicated. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it could be. It could、yeah. be. But but the same. Before you mention, I I I I don't.、Um, Because whatever I think we、okay. we do the creative job.、Uh, Yes, if we cannot avoid, then those historical background, our backgrounds, come before you, and people judge you from, you know, all those uh, surrounding um, factors. Um, so, and the music as well. If you listen to the music, every time. I love music so I, much. I heard the music. I I feel like this is like a happy funeral. You no. Know?、Like, yeah. Yes. Sure. You you always feel these two opposite emotions mixed、yeah. mixed together.、Mm. And but it is really like a funeral. I mean, if you if you listen to、uh, Nero Lot. Uh, Nino, Nino, Nino Rota, Nino Rota,、um, music. You feel like it's a mixture,、uh, emotion, but you don't feel like it's a, it's a funeral. But from,、um, yeah, from from Bregovic, Bregovic, yes. From his,、uh, music, you really feel like you know someone is、uh, dying or something, you know.、Yeah. Sure, because、um, as far as I know, most of the music, if not all, were based on their wedding music or funeral music.、Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, it, it's it's real. It's it's not just how we feel. They were really based on funeral music,、yes. uh, traditional music, and the most functional music, wedding music, and funeral music. Yeah. So, so at the first time I listen to music, I feel, I feel like. Wow, I I feel like I can touch. It feels like I can touch、um, their culture. I feel like this is how they survive. I mean, you're a musician, yeah. Um, you you know, there's a you remember the movie. Um, Bona Vista, Bona Vista Social Club, or yes, yes, I know. You know those、uh, musicians? They <laughs> they talk about they talk about how to survive. Yeah, <laughs> like, they don't yeah. have、uh, they don't have money and they have to you know, but they are yeah, like yes, brilliant, yes, those, brilliant those musicians. Yes, yes, those traditional those traditional mu- musician. Um, um, 
Yeah, a uh, musician from mm, not so um, not so glorious uh, background, um, but 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 really um, uh, have a strong attachment to society. I think it's a circumstance. Like they are in the position, they although they can be a, a professional musician, but they have to survive. And for those people, uh, from the music of a Goran Bregovic, like um, I feel like okay, we are musician or a good musician, so. Our job is going, you know, do the music for the funeral, yeah. for the wedding. Yeah. Uh, this is our real job. And then, by any chance, if we can make soundtrack or something, you know, like, then they do, you know, like, but their real job they, <laughs> is like, you know, case by case. Yeah. Uh, yes. Very yeah. daily life uh, stuff. That's that's what I feel because we also experience that, yeah. Yeah. Yes. 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 So, yeah, they're very they're very different from those who are uh, from the academy, or yeah, but but they are really it, it's very easy to sense the, the energy of life from their performance because yeah. Yeah. and because also the, 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 mm, yeah, yeah. sorry no i mean also they are terrible at promoting themselves like when i was there like you can you know there are so many brilliant uh, artists and musicians but they're just terrible at um, Make them them themselves known. Um, I believe so, but but I also believe it's it's not uh, only only them, but also even if you're from like I say from academy, you might have um, the same problem. Many of the so-called artists, no matter which background, what kind of background you are from, you they I say they are just uh, they were put in a situation or they were put in a life that um, that that um, it, it didn't occur to them quite often to think about how to promote plus, themselves. Plus their name are very difficult to pronounce. That's that's the one negative factor for promotion. <laughs> Some people cannot. Oh, this is a musician. What is his name? <laughs> they couldn't pronounce. So yeah. There's a big thing. Um, so they need some new names, probably. Well, you know those are Slavic names. Artists. They all, most of them, I think they still have certain connection with English. So um, I don't know what is um, Blagovich uh, um, is in English. I don't know. Yeah, but they they do have uh, certain. You mean? Do you mean they equivalent have, to English? They might yeah. have a English version of their name. Exactly. Yeah, because they all have a similar influence. Yeah, some are from Bible, some from Latin. You know, like um, so. Basically, yeah. so so it might be not quite hard to have a similar but English name. Yeah, then people can remember, uh, yeah. but they might think they they 
then it's not authentic. So, so yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah, it could be, it could be a problem. I, you know, the the when the music sounds like a funeral, is also. I also. I, I feel like maybe because of there were a lot of funeral. Yeah. yeah. That's why, because because no, of war. the war, you know, because of the conflict. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's funny. There, there was another movie called um, Welcome to Sarajevo. I don't know if yeah. you watch it. Now it's an American movie. British. I right? know, but I, I, I haven't had a chance to watch it yet. Yeah, and in the beginning there was a happy wedding, and suddenly someone get killed in the wedding, and so the wedding, happy wedding, suddenly become a sad funeral. Like you know, I think this uh, is it happened. It happened. Drama, yeah, this is drama, yes. and maybe that's why the music sounds like funeral because there's so many funerals. Um, maybe you know. Happen. And that become become their baseline. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and until today, we just mentioned even now there's small conflict there between Kosovo and uh, Serbia, and we don't know what is going to happen. Yeah, yeah. You feel like there's no absolute peace mm. in Balkans, like. It's always yeah. something happened. Yeah, I remember back in the school, they call they call this area like a, um, how do you say it? Like a, like, like a, a house uh, for 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 explosive, right? A warehouse of explosive, like that. Yeah. Um, let me try to arsenal. Yeah, this is the word. The arsenal of of Europe or something. Arsenal. Yeah. Yeah. Could be. Uh, So, yep. so it's 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 been a long time, and and that's that's the impression that we have. And because of that, I think the music is also some kind of spiritual. Oh, I don't know. Would you call it spiritual or somehow surreal? Yeah, maybe both. You feel like is a like you know it's almost like a drug you know when you listen it's like yeah. like uh, brain <laughs> washing a little bit yeah like, um yeah I, I I think I I think I get you yeah uh, I would say like yes yes spiritual it's like a little bit like the uh of original music I, exactly yeah yes, uh, yes. Like, like, like a, you're worshiping something, like like you're worshiping your 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 ancestor or uh, and also your God. also some of the the beat were like um, you make this kind of music before the war, yeah. Like so, there's lots of drumming and lots of you know, like you feel like it's going to fight, you know. Yeah. Yeah, and then the speed, the ready, ready to fight, ready to to die. Yes. Re yeah, ready to die, yes. and ready to Set also up. ready to have fun. So, so they're always having fun because it's like we don't know when you will die, so you better have fun now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Also, yeah. I still have this mentality. I mean, Slovenia is a peaceful country, 
but people still will say like, um, I don't know, like, you know, uh, uh, anything can happen, you know, like, you know, they still have this kind of mentality, uh, like, maybe you will happy, maybe you will not happy, like, you know, yeah, drama, they expect drama, and they don't plan, I don't think they plan anything, really. <laughs> yeah, that, that makes sense, that makes sense, if you, if they have this, what you call, this mentality, it's, it makes sense to not to plan, right? Yeah, but at the same time, there are very, there are many, many things that don't change. They are also really conservative, and um, I, I remember this, this friend, he said his neighbor go to the same grocery store for 30 years, like never change. <laughs> Never change the way they buy stuff. Um, maybe doesn't change never what 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 should never change the days. Price, yeah. Never change yeah. items and the yeah. business or like you know family business. Most of them, I mean, um, it doesn't really grow. Um, it's hard to cooperate with the people they don't know um, outside the family, and family is family, yeah. You know about the difficulty of family business too, so there's a drama inside. There's some kind of uh, father control the song, like you know all those kind of thing. Mm. Um, having a business, um, generally wealthy families, but you know lots of dramas as well. Yeah, I think there's a tribe culture. You know we're talking about the maybe yeah. a little bit, maybe yeah. If I say there are kind of trap culture they might be uh, upset but <laughs> but really you know in many places or also middle east you know trying to yeah yeah many, many it's, people it's are upset obvious. right now <laughs> yes um, really obvious there yeah it's like a trap culture although everything's modern you know like but the mentality looks modern looks yes looks. But the mentality, you know, still like, okay, it's our family. And uh, if I make a business, I only would like to work with, work with my relatives, you know, like, you know, people I know, like, this is a tribe culture, yeah? Yeah. Um, and it, the problem of this kind of culture is it's very hard to build a trust with people you don't know. And second, it's very hard to grow. Because your family, okay, how many people can you have? Like, how can you grow? Yeah, um, in a complication, maybe within your family, you. <laughs> that's why there are so many dialects in a country. <laughs> I don't know other, like Serbian, so, Bosnian, so yes. but like, Slovenian is small. Yeah, it's a half yeah. size of Taiwan. Yes, and so many dialects, like. People don't understand each other. On the other they, side, do they, can they don't make, communicate? They don't communicate. Yeah, they don't. Maybe they are not willing to communicate. Yes. So uh, that that's a good reason to have so many dialects. No. Yeah. Be. Imagine if you're in Taiwan and you cannot communicate with people from, I don't know, except First Nation people. I mean. Um, can you imagine, like, or oh, Canada, like, if, if I go to Vancouver, nobody can understand what I'm talking about, like, it would be, uh, Canada is big, big yeah? problem, that would be a really big problem. Really big problem, and not mentioning... Really big problem for us, but, yeah, it, it's, it's uh, magic that, like you mentioned, if someone, they can accept that, it will be quite. Um, yeah, so really, so realistic to us. Yeah, but this is the feature. This is the um, uniqueness, if you like. Um, but it's difficult. I think even for themselves, it's difficult. Now, not only because I'm a foreigner. Yeah, I'm a foreigner. I was a foreigner there. Yeah. Uh, 
uh, even like my friend, he is a um, is a Slovene, yeah, Slovenian, but he also mentioned there are many other <laughs> Slovene people he doesn't understand. So yeah, definitely a pro problem. Yes. Yeah. De definitely a problem. The only difference is if if they are willing to solve it or or they just leave it there. Yeah. I think they just leave it there. Looks like. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So that's yeah. the noise that you mentioned, right? Uh, that's the noise you mentioned. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, you know, Slavic country, Slavic people, if you like, they are Eastern Slavic, there's uh, Western Slavic and the Southern Slavic. And my impression, they are quite different from each other. I also live in Poland, yeah. I visit Slovakia, and uh, I know some Russian people, you know, like and Balkan people. Uh, they are they are quite special, I would say. Like I, I don't think I would mix them now, you know. If I meet people from the Balkans and uh, and from other part of Slavic countries, I think I can tell the difference. You know? Mhm. Mm Yeah. So, yeah, that 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 could be another reason for so many wars, right? Mm. Yeah. yeah. I mean, sometimes sometimes war just mean just means you don't communicate. Yeah, and don't understand and don't accept the difference. Yes. From other people, from different ideas, uh, yes. so trying to then, info. Then you have a war. Yeah, and try to enforce your own idea on other people. Uh, that would be a uh, yeah. Plus the. It's complicated. Um, I mean, we're human. Humans made it complicated most of the time. Um, if we can appreciate something universal, then I think that probably we, we don't we don't get so much troubles. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah I think so I think so. Yeah. Like when I you know I I I like um Christoph Kis Kislovsky, yeah. Uh, yeah. And uh, Chopin, of course. Um, Poland. Yeah, the Polish. Like, mm. Actually, yeah, this is my first uh, impression of uh, Slavic people. Uh, I feel like, yeah, there's always some kind of um, uh, traumatized <laughs> um, background. Um, yeah, but it's beautiful and it's very. Uh, um, Delicate, you know the way they express themselves. Um, like Chopin is, I think his music is spiritual, is really refined and uh, properly uh, composed uh, without uh, without extra stuff. You know, you can if you listen to his piano, um, like yeah. And Kislovsky, like he's a, they say he's a, you know, a surgeon, yeah, of the, of the filmmakers. Like he's precise, and he's a sharp, um, sharp, neat, and by sad, like his movies are most of a very sad, especially mm -hmm. early early movie, like Ten Commandments. You know, those are really really heavy. 
uh, and sad, but deep. Uh, later, when before he died, I think his movie became a little bit more entertaining, uh, a little mm-hmm. bit more uh, softer, uh, yeah. maybe p- more maybe, peaceful. Maybe enough. Maybe yeah. I, I have been serious enough. Become maybe more like a pure philosophical uh, expression. Not so much, you know, personal struggle, uh, human problem. Uh, in reality, you know, like uh, obviously there are some uh, communism uh, influence um, in his early movie. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, but yeah, for the for his for his for his movies and uh, for his yeah maybe yeah maybe we can talk about uh, Christopher Kislovsky next time. Okay. Yeah, we yeah it's a good idea, but I only watch his probably no more than four movies. Then this but week, but I think yeah. I can. Yeah, I think I can make it up a bit. So, so we can talk about next time. You need to watch all his movies this week. <laughs> <laughs> if I could find, I like to, but but some of his maybe, movies maybe, maybe library. I mean, oh no, you cannot because yeah. you don't have a C- CD player anymore. No more. So I have. I have. You have. You have. Then I have. It. I have a. I have a extra. I have an extra one. Okay, okay. But sometimes in the library they have all old collection. Yeah. Good idea. I can have a check these days. Mm. Yeah. The easiest ones are the three colors. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you, you're I sure to find them. And uh, the double life of Veronica, uh, yeah, beautiful yeah. film, and the uh, Ten Commandment. If you can find uh, the the name, the real that's name. The hard, that's the hard part. I I think I only like dialogue. Um, meet them like uh, one or two of them. Meet only one or two of them, but the rest I never. I, I never saw them uh, anywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and um, but you know, you also know his composer, yeah. Yes, your favorite. Yes. I believe that's your favorite one. Yes, he's uh, he's very cool. Sometimes I see his poster in Warsaw, uh, prisoner. Um, He's, uh, yeah, one, I think he's a one strong man. <laughs> <laughs> one strong man. <laughs> one tough guy. Yes. <laughs> tough guy. Tender. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I need to, yeah, I think we can, we can, uh, Stop here because you can hear the you can hear the noise, yeah. It's Maybe like it's, high it's, technology. It's like we call it automatic uh, garbage truck in Toronto. High technology. <laughs> no human. You don't see human coming out. You know, normally you see human. Yeah, it's just one uh, robot. Um, and then very quickly, very, very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> we are proud Canadian, so <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, yeah. So, so that's, that's the time they coming out. Collect the garbage, yes, yeah. They don't have a beautiful music, sorry. We don't play proper music when 
<laughs> it's fine. I like that. I, I don't really like the. You don't like it. Da, 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 da. It, no, no, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't know why, but I don't like it. Okay. I, I don't feel any happiness when I hear that. I hope they just do the job quickly and and get away. Yeah. Mm, yeah. yeah. Um. So next time, Kislovsky. Yes, Kislovsky, and uh, the problem again, some of their names I cannot pronounce well. So <laughs> that that should be. Quite Zignov uh, Plisna. That, I don't know if I'm correct. Yeah. That makes sense. Yes. Yeah. It's fine. We don't know. Then we say we don't know. Especially you don't know the one when you don't know what is uh, the word, you know, uh, equivalent to English. Then you really don't know how to pronounce. <laughs> Because you have this uh, Frederick shopping, so Frederick is a uh, common, yeah. Uh, yes. So you know, maybe it's like that, uh, but other stuff. It's fine. I think it's fine. Just, just uh, admit that we don't know. It's then it's fine. Yeah. And and uh, for for the movie, we can also we, we can always find the English translation, so it's easy to talk mm -hmm. about. Right? Yeah. For That's the right. for the original term, it's just leave it. because uh, we still don't have time to learn Polish. That's why, right? <laughs> <laughs> you need a lot of time to learn Polish. <laughs> yeah, I, I can only handle a little bit Italian now. So if it's Italian, I can yeah. then I can try. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So before we stop, um, as the usual, let's pray for the Balkans. Let's <laughs> 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 send our prayer to the. Um, sure, sure. Now then you, then you shouldn't laugh. <laughs> no, we, no, no. We, we I should, yeah. I should leave. But sending my prayer <laughs> there. Um, no, I mean now I can say maybe a Slovenian is my third. Uh, the homeland. Kind of, you know, where you live, you become, become yes. part of you. Yeah. So yeah. it's like. No, it's the fourth one because the second one is like Britain, yeah, and then Canada, of course, and then Slovenia. I I I lived for almost two years. Um, UK is also two years, one and a half years. So similar, yeah, similar. So yes, I can say I'm kind of a. I homesick. can say I'm a. Are you homesick. I'm a three. Already. Three years, three year European. <laughs> Hello, I'm uh, three <laughs> European. <laughs> Actually, three and a half, because I live in Warsaw for three months, and Berlin for three months. So altogether, I can say I'm, um, yeah, around three years, yeah, uh, European. Yeah, actually, I already missed uh, life in Europe. <laughs> but it's okay. I'm going to, so. yeah. Yeah, you um, you you go back anytime later. I will try to appreciate Canada as well. They are nice uh, Canadian movies and uh, music as well. Let's try to find it. <laughs> oh, if you if you mention so, I one of my favorite musician was a. Uh, was a Canadian, oh, yes. From Quebec? Uh, no, uh, Daniel Lanois. It sounds like a French. <laughs> yeah, he's, I think he's a... Are you sure he's, he's not I think he's a, a Quebec, 
Uh, yeah, I think he lives in Quebec. Uh, okay. Yeah. Um, and he's he's famous for uh, producing YouTube's. Okay. YouTube's, I believe is YouTube's album. Okay. Yes. Yes. And but he himself is a uh, is also a real fine musician and mm-hmm. and he's he also composed uh, blade no uh what's the name uh the movie the movie, movie mm-hmm. uh, called blade yes blade the vampire yeah? movie yes with this with this snipe no, 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 not the one. Um, okay. Let, okay. Me, let me check it. Okay, that's okay. I mean, yeah, later we can also discuss some uh, Canadian artist. Uh, it's called, oh, Sling Blade. Sling okay. Blade from Billy Bob Thor- Thornton. Okay. You know? Yeah, I yes. know that. He, he's a composer for a movie. Okay, interesting. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's really good. And we can also discuss uh, Leslie Nielsen. <laughs> oh yes, he he he's a Canadian, right? He's a Canadian, yes. And uh, along with uh, Jim Carrey, yeah, we have a uh, comedian Jim from, from Canadian? Canada. Yeah, yeah, he's a Canadian. You don't know that. No, no, I always think he's an American. Yeah, many, yeah. He's so American, isn't he? He's so sad. <laughs> yeah. He's, you know, every time he's like, you know, he has this like laughing thing, like so sad, like, you know, this, <laughs> yeah, really, really, uh, so uh, difficult. Traumatized as well. <laughs> um, yeah, but Leslie Nielsen, not sad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There, there's he, no this word in his direction. <laughs> he, he truly, he in truly. His dictionary. Sorry. Yes, he truly secretly enjoy himself. I believe, even he has no impression. He laugh inside, like. <laughs> yeah. 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 Anyway. Yes. He. He's a. Yeah. yeah. He's amazing. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Okay. So we'll call it the day, and uh, next time we talk about the uh, not so happy Polish. <laughs> uh, movies and uh, music first. Okay. I like that. I like yeah. that. Okay. Okay. Have a good evening. And um, and you have a good day. Thank you. And uh, adios. No, arrivederci. Si. Bueno. Mm-hmm.